Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to show you how to create subordinate views in GeoPoint. Let's go ahead and create a folder for uh, the subordinate. Go ahead and give it a name. Go ahead and create it. Click on the folder action. Click sharing details. Now we want to share this uh, with the subordinate only, so let's go ahead and uh, select user and select the user from the list and we'll go ahead and save it. Uh, next, we're going to create a data set uh, for the subordinate um, and store it in this new folder we just created. Go ahead and click on the plus button, select data set, let's give it a meaningful name. And for the map object, select account, go ahead and select the folder we just created and create this data set. For the purpose of this video, we'll set the show pick list to my. That way, when the subordinate we are sharing this data set with logs in, they will only see their accounts. Uh, this option may not impact you if your org wide defaults are set to private. And just keep in mind that GeoPoint will fully adhere to Salesforce sharing security model. All right, so we're on the filters tab. Here we can add filters, uh, cross object filters. Click on fields, go ahead and add the annual revenue. We're going to add another one. Let's go ahead and add the rating. Now we're going to click on markers. Let's go ahead and color code by annual revenue. Let's get those ranges in there. Now we're going to log in as a subordinate. As a subordinate, I want to access that, that data set that was shared with me. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that data set. After the search finishes running, um, if you click on a map pin, uh, you'll see those additional fields we've added. So I click on layers, click show legend. I can see the annual revenue has been color coded here by, by ranges. So I can toggle. I can also see the amounts from here. All right. Well, that is all for now. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.